Hey guys, Chris Lindley here again with Dr. Bach, CEO of Colorado Mount Medical. And we wanna to talk to you a little bit about the new antibody test. And here at Colorado Mount Medical, they have that test and have been performing that test for about a week. Can you tell us a little bit about that test and how one gets it here? I'm happy to do that. Uh, the antibody test tests for a protein in the blood that is developed after someone has been infected and has had the disease COVID-19. The antibody usually develops in a matter of days and may last for weeks to years. We don't know because we don't have enough history with this particular uh, disease at this point in time to know the answer to that. It's a blood test, a little venipuncture, test tube full of blood sent off to the laboratory, result comes back in two to three days. It has a very high sensitivity and specificity as well. It's uh, therefore a very reliable test. And if someone tests positive, which means you have antibodies in your blood, you can pretty much count on the fact that you've had the infection and you've built antibodies. You could have had the infection and not built antibodies. That does happen. If you don't have antibodies, you've perhaps been in contact with the coronavirus, but it hasn't resulted in you building antibodies and having a serious infection. The, the value of this is that we're able to see what is going on in our community. And at this point in time, we've tested about 2,600 people. And of that 2,600 people, about 12% have a positive test for the antibody. So they have been infected, built antibodies. What that means is 88% don't right. have the antibody and are still potentially susceptible to the disease. And let's look at the, even the 12%. That, that doesn't mean they're necessarily protected, right? There, there's still some questions about how long that protection of the antibody might last with COVID or if it even provides protection at all, because we haven't studied it yet. Is that what you're going to do? You're absolutely right. That's exactly what I was saying. You can't say, if you have positive antibodies, that you are immune to COVID-19. It's likely that you are, but we don't have enough history to know that. And even if you assume, because you're positive, you're immune, we don't have any idea how long that immunity lasts. So one thing that is also, I think, reassuring to hear when you hear a, a number come back, 12% of our population has probably had it in this valley, um, but we've had very few deaths in this valley, more than any of us would like, but we've, we've had seven across the county. It, it does also highlight that you know, the disease it, in some is, is severe, as we know, but in many, they get through it okay. And that, that's good to know as we go forward. That is good to know, and, and in fact, it's most yeah. that have mild disease. Okay. So if you guys have any questions about the antibody test or anything at all related to COVID-19 with Bell Health or Colorado Mount Medical, just send us, uh, send us a comment in the, the comments here and we'll get back to you within 24 hours.